Hello and welcome to the Crypto Science Society, where we talk about strange and unusual phenomenon. Today's strange and unusual is the birthday of my great grandma Margarita Epifania Valdezena. Her birth was not so strange and unusual, but some of the circumstances of her life could be viewed that way from a mechanistic colonizer's point of view. And in honor of her birthday today, I thought I would share some of her stories. She was born on June 10th, 1899, in Capulín, Conejos County, Colorado, in the San Luis Valley. Grandma Senna taught me to be careful with my hair and nail clippings so as to keep them out of the hands of... In Latin, indigenous folklore, in particularly in areas around the San Luis Valley of southern Colorado and northern New Mexico, brujos are evil witches who use their powers for selfish means and for taking the way, taking away the free will of others. There are lots of stories about brujos and how to protect against them, and that deserves a whole video on its own. My dad also had great memories of his grandma. He remembered riding the train and the bus with her to go to the market in the Hilaria Swansea neighborhood of Denver, and he also remembered going with her to visit a curindera, named Mrs. Bartolo, who lived in Denver. Now, curinderas are folk healers who blend religious beliefs, faith, and prayer with use of herbs, massage, and other traditional methods of healing. There is a lot to this topic, too, so it will also be getting a video of its own soon. Grandma told me stories about her life and growing up in the San Luis Valley, too. One tale that took place when she was about five years old, around the same time this photo was taken, involved a neighbor who came to the house in Capulín. He was panicked and scared because he had just seen a giant six-foot-tall grasshopper. A six-foot-tall grasshopper that walked upright like a man. Her father, my great-great-grandfather, Bernardino Valdez, took his son, Grandma's older brother Juanito, and their hunting rifles and went out looking for the creature. Unfortunately, because she was so young, she didn't remember what happened or how things ended up. Needless to say, it was something that stuck with her for the rest of her life. All these things were just as much a part of her life and my family's as anything else. She taught me well and inspired me to learn about everything in the world, all that is seen and unseen, and to treat it with respect. So thank you, Grandma, and happy birthday.